Kaisa Dugara. Kaisa Dugara. So I am live, obviously, just checking uh, my camera. You see, today I uh, have some pinks and some purples because I really want to do some flowers <clears throat> with this paint so hello Rita happy international woman's day to all of all of you here hello Pascal Pascal I didn't try your set in enamel yet I just didn't find the time and uh, the courage to do it so I will this week next week hello Dana hello the mom Gusian. this is always <coughs> hard <coughs> happy woman's day to all of you hi Amanda No, we change our time. I call when? Daj spremeni moča so oni pas. We change it uh, last weekend, last su Sunday yeah. in March. So it will change soon. Thank you, retired Navy girl. <laughs> almost all my paintings from last week just I have just this one other ones I just didn't like so I poured over this is the one half and half that we did with bottle bottom pour uh, and I want to show you and obviously I I just can't show this painting good enough on the camera because uh, it's just beautiful hello Janet hello Roxy guten Abend <laughs> uh, now it's dry you see completely dry and I love this deep uh, purple here but I really want to show you the iridescent but I can't on camera but it's beautiful I really love it and I love these deep edges because you see these edges are really deep they are two and a half inch deep and I just love when painting goes over this one is the second one that i did um, with the same color palette probably i just can't show this iridescent these pebeo iridescent paints are just beautiful oh, if okay Yeah. Wow! You've been in, in Slovenia? Yes, <laughs> copper is on the uh, seaside. We have sea a little bit and we have uh, mountains and 
in this small country we have all. And I really want to show you. I do. It's dry and it's so. I don't know. I just love, 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 love this painting. So. Uh, da, 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 da. What I want to say. I just want to show you this uh, dry result that, that results that I really like and some of them I don't like as much. This orange one kind of didn't dry as nice as it was so it's still beautiful but not as beautiful as it was when I poured it and this is the second one. If you, I didn't do sides yet, so this is the second one that I dipped and it kind of, I don't know about this one, but I like this kind of bouquet look. So I decided today that I will try this again but I will use paints gray as my background for one definitely uh, and oh so paints gray background and I have caput mortem violet <laughs> with this <laughs> strange name but it's beautiful color i have alizarian violet i have deep magenta i have permanent red violet light i have quinacridon rose i have opera rose <laughs> i have cobalt violet hue Persian rose and then I mixed some Naples yellow red and some ivory <clears throat> sorry do we have problems with internet connection again I hope not if we have please <clears throat> refresh your page so I don't know do we have problems? No. Okay. So you will not believe it, but I will not use. Hi, Carrie. I will not use pearl white today. My mixture of pearl white. I just want to see <clears throat> how this will work. I will use metallic silver. And I have metallic bronze. This is just white for a background, not pearl white. So, yes, Roxy, no pearl white. <laughs> Petra, hello. Uh, no, no pearl white. I will use this metallic silver. This is this bright silver. It's not a dark silver. It's like a sterling silver. So I will use this instead and see if we can get, get some, some nice effects too without pearl white. What do you think? I just didn't mix it because otherwise I will grab it. And I want to do a painting without, without pearl white today. Uh, so. I will not use all these <laughs> pink shoes now. I just mix and mix and mix and I couldn't decide which combination I would will use. So I'm going for kind of vintage look today. So I will definitely use this Alizarian Violet for a contrast. And 
maybe we can go ivory huh. silver or bronze silver and this one for greens uh, so I hope that I will I will get some kind of vintage look flower so we will see uh, and my background will be we will see how this will look I didn't do a deep with paints gray yet so I don't know how this will go we will see together so just checking my chat hi Dina hi Victoria hi Katy Charlotte six eight six two two one one hello <clears throat> hello Tina Shirley and everybody else so hello Mickey let's start I hope that I I don't know about this one maybe i want to add some something a little brighter in here because i have ivory too we'll do these colors and we will see what will happen so i just have to see that i'm in frame with my canvas And I will try to do um, maybe some little ones and some bigger ones. I don't know. I will just as always, but I don't know if this will work or not. Because the first thing is my paint's gray. I just want to show you the consistency. I hope that you can see. So it leaves a mound on a mound on a mound and then disappears, you see. And this is consistency for all of my paints. So background uh, paint that I use for, for background is the same consistency. It's not thinner. I know that I told that a lot of times but I still get some questions about this so I have to tell you now and then or what is the phrase for this so sometimes I will tell some things that you who follow me regularly probably already know but some of new subscribers don't know so sorry for those who already know those things but I have to say sometimes so my background is done I just clean this palette knife okay I have to level my table too <laughs> I don't have it leveled I will have it leveled in my new studio but I'm still in my kitchen, so let's start. I will just 
drizzle some paint. Little one here, just a little paint. Maybe a little more here. Let's see what will happen. <clears throat> and I will add this metallic silver. You see it's quite bright so it's not uh, this dark silver so I hope to get some similar effects as I have with my pearl white but we will see. This paint doesn't flow off my stick as I want, so I don't know why. And my Kaput Mortum, not much. And some ivory. Malprena glasses, so so true I'm not. Yeah, yeah, some much. And now let's do some greenery around. And I really um, want to do kind of a rose today too. But first I want to try this. And I will add some silver on the green too. If we will get some lacing with this, we will see. Okay. Kaj delam? Rajko ask me what are you doing? Drizzling some paint! Tara, you ask me where I'm from? Me or you ask somebody else? I'm from Slovenia. <laughs> Far away from U.S. I'm just touching this. Yes, Pascal. Pascal, do you have in France problems with coronavirus already? We have a little bit. What about states? Do you have problems with it? Or is just in China and in Europe? Let's leave this. And I get just one flower out of it. But as you can see, I did get the effect like with pearl white, kind of. Where is my torch? Whoa. just have to put it down a little bit. Maybe this uh, paints gray wasn't a good idea for a background. I think that um, 
these colors maybe will pop more with uh, on a white background not on paints gray and try to oh, sorry i have to put these cups <clears throat> away You see, we get, we did get some lacing, but definitely different one than with pearl white. But it's not bad and it's not <laughs> something that I would jump to the moon for it. But we will see this paint's gray will dry darker, a lot darker, and these colors may pop a little bit. So, this was my first experiment for today. I like the paint's gray too, but um, I don't know, maybe just, uh, maybe I added too much paint, or I don't know. I wish that I would have my pearl white. <laughs> but I, I said to myself, no pearl white today. Because I use it all the time, so. I have pretty much paint here left, so I will add some brighter colors on top and dip it again. Some of this bright pink and Quanequadon rose do you miss my pearl white? I do uh, and I will add this pearl and rose too. And this time I will add some of this bronze here. And no green. I will just dip another one. Or maybe I can use this one because I don't want to ruin another clean canvas so I will reuse one canvas when you trying new things <clears throat> I sometimes use uh, use uh, Canvases that I already poured on and I don't like because otherwise you ruin a lot of canvases. So, and you know that you can pour over. Uh, so that today is um, this woman's day, so that. Well, that's why I decided that I will do flowers again, but next week maybe we can wreck some ring for a change. But today I decided that I will go with flowers because it's that day. I don't know. I definitely miss my pearl white, I have to say, but I will not use it today. I will not, because I promised myself. I promised myself this is an old song when I was teenager. 
Let's see. What I want to. I just don't like this green here. Putting my finger into the paint on the plastic and add it here. I don't know. Again, not so bad, but we will see what will look like when it will dry. And I should have prepared some cards to dip in, but I didn't. So I will just scrape this into one cup and we will I just do this sometimes and pour on some canvas like a straight pour and sometimes I get nice results with this paint <laughs> I did some jewelry dips last time and you can do a lot of things with the paint that you don't waste it. So this is done. Just clean this up a little bit. So you can use your plastic multiple multiple time multiple times I don't know what is the right word mm, I just um, clean it up and use it again so you don't have to use new one every time. And this plastic that I have on my table is just a garbage bag. So, uh, la, 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 la. Um, and I will do a reverse dip this time. But. Uh, I was I have some had some idea but I don't know how to do it so let's put my white whoa these cups are I saw that a lot of you found these cups for cup bottom pours Amanda uh, put its links in in some of the comments of some videos, I don't remember which one, so I want to to you to do one of this again, and I added just too much paint. I can already see. I'll just try to pour it a little into this cup if I can, but Probably not. And I have bought some chains, but I didn't have much luck with it. So I will try it again soon, but I don't know when. Maybe my white is too thick because it's just weird. Uh, I don't use house paint for uh, this background or base coat because our house paint is not good, it cracks. So this is Windsor and Newton titanium white mixed with my pouring medium, of course.
So, this part is done. So I reuse them. Somebody wrote in the comments why I don't use soda bottles. I don't buy uh, these sodas, so I don't have this thing. So it's easier for me to buy these cups. And I like them more than just a soda, uh, just a bottle, bottle pours because I get a little different effect. So let's do it. And I will do greens around today. I will not use green in this. So I will start with Glycerian violet and maybe my paints are too thick. Maybe they are thickened up a little bit. And some silver, metallic silver. And this Caput Morton violet. And let's do some permanent red violet light. You see how my paint is going under the silver. And Quonequadon rose. No, I will add deep magenta. And let's add some Quonequadon, co Cobalt Violet, sorry. Cobalt Violet Hue. Okay. Just blow this a little bit. I have to prepare a paper towel and I will do some greens around, but I will not forget. Here is my paper napkin, not paper towel. And Let's do some greens around. Okay. And I will add some of this bronze here in the leaves. Okay, and let's lift this up and spray my paper napkin. I don't spray it much, you know that, but someone, somebody still asked me so. I just spray it a little bit, not too much. Three, four times, four times probably. Okay. 
I don't like this part that I... Kai? Sometimes I wonder what will happen if I le leave this, but it's way too much paint. And let's put oh, paper towel down, paper napkin, sorry. And I will go from the middle because it's a lot of paint and I will push it towards the middle when I will lift my napkin. So I saw some of you tried this with your cups and I saw some nice results. I hope that you are happy with your results too. I think that I have just way too much paint this time. Probably I added too much white. So, we will see what will happen when we will leave this. I probably lift my napkin differently every time, I don't know, because sometimes I th thought that maybe I lift it a little differently and that's why I didn't get the nice results or I don't know. You see? Without my pearl white, totally different result. Maybe this will be the answer for you who who, who wrote, write me that you don't get the same results. You see, without my pearl white, I didn't get the same result. I get totally different results. So even if I use metallics, totally different. So I will try to, oh, I should go this way. See nothing, no, it's not, thank you Amanda, it is kind of cute, I don't know, but I like the effects that Pearl White does. So maybe we should do one with my Pearl White and see what will happen. And I just look at my previous painting and this, whoa, uh, I have to show you what the metallics does to this paintings, painting. This is just, yikes! This bronze, I don't like this, you see? I have to do something over this one, probably. Here where I used only silver, it's quite okay, but not okay. I don't like it. And where I have this silver, I almost can see canvas through. But I do like this color combination, but where is my pearl white? I don't know where I have it, so let's mix some and try what will happen if I <laughs> use pearl white because I'm almost 
out of it. So I will just pour some of this white mixed with my pouring medium. This is Windsor and Newton white. And I will pour this Vallejo pearl medium. I'm almost out of it. Okay, I think that is enough. And I will need some water because it will be too thick. So I just mix my white as I normally do and then I add my pearl medium to the, to the mixture to get this pearl white. I just have to look under the... So let's do some reverse dip on top of this one. with paints gray of course because we have paints gray I will scrape this off oops this is the reused canvas I forget I just thought what is this I will just pour my paints gray on top Ooh, I didn't clean my <laughs> knife. No, it's okay. Do you remember when I did these green lines in the background? It's just these colors that I'm using, so it's okay. Uh, and I will use this bottle uh, cup again. I will just tilt this a little bit. Maybe my paints are thickened up a little too much. I'll just try to level it a little bit. My paint. I must say okay uh, so just a second maybe I have to pour a little water into this Rosarian violet when your paint's sitting on the table or somewhere where it's hot, they tend to thicken up a little bit, so you have to check them a little bit before you pour. Okay. And pour white. And let's add some Conequadon Rose. And this one is stick too. And some of this lighter Persian Rose. And some Caput Mortum Violet. I read about this um, tone. They uh, say that um, this uh, 
paint they uh, get it from uh, pig so opera rose let's add some white Whoa, I blow on the, and I will add some green around, but with pearl white this time. <laughs> so maybe this is, um, you can't do a cloud pour without set in enamel and you can do this uh, kind of flower dips without pearl white obviously i don't know we will see what will happen now if this will make a difference or maybe uh, this paints gray is just not okay for this technique hi lily flower i just <laughs> maybe i should read your comments more i am just all into this <laughs> painting and i forget to to read the comments Maybe one day we will just chat, have, have just a chat evening. I will send Raiko somewhere and we will chat. <laughs> so he will not be bored with women's chatting things. So, but I need him to be my moderator. Okay, I hope that I will not lift too much paint up because I have this. You have the most beautiful name on the world, Lily Flower. I would love to be a Lily Flower. I would love to be any flower. Okay, let's see. And I think that on this paint's gray, even my pearl white will not do its job or I don't know. No. You see, it is a little different than with metallics, but not the same effect on the paints gray. Let's torch it a little bit and see what will happen because it changes a little bit, you know that. But it is kind of cute anyway. I just have to bring this a little to make this center look nicer. And that's some um, paints gray here. I can do edges later, just this side. Ooh. I just contamin contaminated it a little bit, so this will be better. So definitely, I think that it's much 
nicer with <laughs> with pearl white uh, and I like this um, kind of uh, drops around so totally different effect with uh, this pearl medium I don't know if uh, somebody tried some different you have probably some different brands of pearl mediums in states or Lily, you can't buy this uh, Vallejo pearl medium in states. I think that they ship all over the world. You see? Just check their um, website. So, um, and then you just mix it like um, with your pearl white mixture, just add this pearl white and because obviously this pearl white does the magic with um, this lacing and petals shape. So I definitely miss it. I, I promised you at the beginning that I will not use it, but you see, I just had to because Otherwise, I I don't get the same result. So, unfortunately, the pearl white is obviously the key for this technique. Maybe I added a little too much white here on the sides, but I will take you for a close up, close up, and you will see that it's not so bad, like it maybe looks from up up there so uh, yes Pascal I think that it's that it this is from this medium I don't know but um, when I mix it with other paints I don't get the same effect so you Nancy Thank you. I, I don't know where to buy it in States, but uh, I think that if you go on her uh, official official site that uh, you can order it there too. So I don't know. I just can't live without it. I can't live, live in it without you. Um, it's so weird. When I paint, I always have these songs in my mind um, when I say something. So, uh, we did three paintings today and I like only one. You see, this is the first one with the silver, metallic silver. You see this? Um, I don't know what. It's just not the same. And the second one, or the third one, I don't know. So definitely with the pearl white, you get this flower shape. Or it's just me thinking so. What do you think? I think that you need pearl white. This first one, I have to do something. I can live with this one, but I have to fix this one, try to fix this one, because it just, awful with this uh, with this silver I will just <laughs> I 
Yes, Janet. I just love to sing. I will just pour over it or miss it. Maybe I should. Because this metallic silver is just so weird. I will just... Clean it a little bit, and now I will clean my palette knife too. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will use this paint gray again. I just um, water it down a little bit because it was thickened up. What should we do? What kind of um, reverse dip? We did with bottle with this cup again. I can't do spiral because I don't have my squeeze bottles. My paints in my squeeze bottles, I have to say. Up again. <laughs> I just thinking. Okay, clock. Okay, I have to wait for a clock to say its thing. I was just thinking, I don't know which day, what will happen if I poured once and then lift it up and I don't know, do another one on top. Maybe we can try this. Let's do it. Look. Let's try this time the opposite way. I will start with this brighter pink. I'm all pink in pink today. <laughs> I just don't know why I mix this uh, color palette today. I just bring all my paints out and look at them and decided that I will go with pinks and purples today. Let's do this Conequadon Rose next. This one is thickened up too. So I mixed my paints uh, about two hours before I started so that's why they are thickened up a little bit. And I need to add this Elizarian violet for a contrast. I love this Elizarian violet so much. I really do. Okay. Okay. Huh? Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. I love that song. So uh let's wait just a second to drip this paint a little bit and grab another one because this one is just a second i have to figure out 
how I have to put it. So probably like this here. So I have to do it kind of like this. I don't know if I did it okay. Probably not completely. We will see. Uh, and I will start with pearl white just to separate this a little bit. And probably this will be a disaster. <laughs> We will see. So I really don't know which colors I used before. Let some deep magenta. I'm sure for this one and for Elizarian violet, but I forget about the other ones. Okay, and I know that I use this permanent. Let's add some pearl white again, and maybe this. No, this pearl rose is so fake. Deep magenta, I used it. Conequadon, and this one I used too. What will happen if what if I add this paints gray on top? Let's see. And spray my paper napkin again, and I will not do greens around because I don't know no I will not that I can use it probably I don't know I have some cobalt green maybe I should use this Let's do some cobalt green around, but not as much. And I don't know, maybe I mixed something in here because it's a little pearly looking. <laughs> maybe I mixed some pearl white that it left, I don't know. I will add some mint so I just add a little different greens this time and some white of course okay you see this what is happening on the cup from pearl white well, we will see how this will work, but I don't know. <laughs> put this aside. And I didn't do a good job with lifting my paper towel paper napkin down this time but at least we don't get this air pockets if we use uh, paper napkin like you do when you use um, plastic or something 
I didn't do flower dip with zip bags for a long time. Maybe this I can do this someday again. Okay. Not much difference. Just that I have more paint in the middle. This is the difference. <laughs> I'm really happy that my uh, pouring medium is so good to me that my paints don't crack even if I have a lot of paint on it so let me wipe my hands hello creations by baby doll hello evelyn <laughs> but the flower is uh, it's beautiful, so yay! Much better than the first one. So, messy background. We'll just do these corners real quick because otherwise, when I lo look at it, it bothers me after it would be nice if i could do a site and uh, read your comments <laughs> while i'm doing this and chat with you and answer some questions but i can't because i have to look at it so i will do it i love this um Paints gray in the middle. I'm glad that I did it. So I will put all three paints. Definitely this olive green is not the right choice, but I was hoping that it will um, blend a little more, but it isn't. So you see the one without my pearl white is totally different this one is really looking 3d so maybe this is not a bad idea to do it twice so just a second i will take my phone down and take you for a close-up i just hope that i will not Ooh. so hello where are i okay here we are, and I have to, so the last one that we did with two cups, I think that this one is just stunning, I don't know what you think, you see this, uh, center and this 3d look so i'm in love with my pearl white i <laughs> i can't say different because yes i agree two cups is way to go uh hi phoebe and this is the second one with my pearl white, of course. <laughs> I love this uh, kind of raindrops or something here. See, it's uh, quite 3D looking. It reminds me on hibiscus. I don't know. What do you think? But 
just uh, if it has this um, middle it will be it would be a hibiscus flower so and the one without pearl white with metallics you see totally different result totally different and I really don't like it <laughs> these two these two are beautiful for my taste I love them yes Nancy I agree this one with two cups is definitely gorgeous so I think that I will try with two cups again if you didn't saw before just a second I use this pearl medium Vallejo should give me some credit because I <laughs> I talk about this pearl medium all all the time so Mm. I'm so happy with this one and I know that it will be gorgeous because this um, mm, paints gray will be much darker and these greens around will pop a little bit so yes I agree they should sponsor me with poor medium um thank you amanda uh i like this too but this one is really not this one is kind of like when i started so i don't know i don't know so this was women's day pouring flower session <laughs> So, uh, I will definitely do some more of these two cups because uh, it turned out beautiful. Uh, happy Women's Day to everybody. We are probably all wom woman women. I don't know to pronounce. Woman is one and women are more or... Did I, I say this right? Uh, so tomorrow is my birthday. Uh, I will be 48 years old. And I hope that I will, I will have time to post something. But thank you. Thank you all. So it's an hour away from my birthday because it will be uh yes 24 years young uh, thank you all for being here supporting me coming every sunday on this journey with me so <laughs> i really want to uh thank you mel show you that maybe maybe works for you but don't work for me if i want to get this nice looking flower with these petals i have to use my pearl white so my conclusion is vallejo should sponsor me with pearl white media pearl <laughs> medium <laughs> joke so this was it for today and see you on the next one and thank you all for coming and have a nice day bye